a very common scenario that we encounter are patients who've got numbness, for example, in their hand or their foot, but actually have issues arising from their lower neck or from their lower back. And when we start testing the hands or the foot, patients ask us, well, why are you starting there? My problem's in my neck or my lower back. And the answer is actually very simple. In neurophysiology, we exploit the circuitry of the peripheral nerve system, which means that we can test the nerve along its axon all the way up to its originating point. For the sensory nerves, that's the dorsal root ganglion, which lives outside of the lateral recesses of the, the bony part of the spine. This means that if a patient has got a normal sensory response and they have got numbness, then we have to be considering preganglionic causes around the vertebral uh, canals and uh, foramina where the spinal roots may be compromised and so therefore if a patient has got for example numbness in the lower part of their hand and they have got neck pains and they've got a normal sensory response then we have to start considering whether the problems are arising from the lower cervical spine using other techniques and in the next video i'm going to be exploring the motor studies and emg to explain a little bit more about that